Welcome to How to Cook That, I'm Anne Reardon and today we're making Carl's hat from The Walking Dead. It was actually Rick's hat but he pulled the sheriff badge off and gave it to his son. Since you're in the club now, you get to wear the hat. To make this cake you will need a double quantity of my rich chocolate cake baked in four 8 inch tins and leveled. If you just use something that is a good height and rest your knife on it and cut across it makes it easy to do that. I'll link you to the video of how to make the cake and I'll put all the details of everything else you need for this on the howtocookthat.net website and there's a link to that just below. You'll also find the template there for carving the cake and the recipe for my buttercream. For Carl's hat I'm using a double batch of the basic buttercream mixed with some melted dark chocolate. This gives it a beautiful flavour but it also helps make the frosting a little bit firmer so it's a bit easier to work with. Tape four pieces of paper together and then fold that in half along the join and then in half again the other way. Now take one side and bring it across to line up with the other side and then fold that down pushing it nice and flat. Place your template piece on the top lining it up with the point and then simply cut along the line using some sharp scissors. Once you're done unfold it and this is the size of the rim of the hat. So choose a cake board that allows for that size cake with a bit of spare room around it. Now put a little bit of frosting on the board to stop the cake slipping and add your first cake. Now you want to brush that with simple syrup and this helps keep the cake moist when we carve it. Smother the top of that cake in our delicious chocolate frosting and then repeat that stacking up the other three cakes on top. Place the side of the cake template in front of the cake and line up the straight edge with one side of the stack. Then follow the line and cut off the top of the cake. Turn the cake 90 degrees so you can see the front and place the front template next to the cake. Cut off a triangle off one side just following the line there. Then cut a little wedge from the middle on the angle shown and then a triangle from the other side. That gives us a pretty nice basic shape across the top but the corners make the hat still look a little bit box shaped. So take your knife and shave off a little at a time just to round out those corners of the hat. That looks good. Now if you look at the main template you can see the rim isn't actually sitting flat. It starts up a bit and then it comes down flat towards the edge. Take your rim template and fold it up again and then just cut off a piece from the middle so that when you unfold it you can place it over the cake to see where that sits. And I suggest you draw yourself a little guideline so you know whereabouts that is. Take the cake that we cut off the top of the hat before when we were doing the side and cut that in half and then use your knife to cut out a curve so that that fits snugly against the body of the hat. Now use a finely serrated knife to slope that down from where it joins the hat to the cake board. For each side of the hat use the triangle piece that we cut off and we don't want the sides to come as far out from the hat as the front and the back do because the sides of the hat curl up. So trim it off to the same height as the others and then down on a slightly sharper slope. Then cover the whole thing in your chocolate buttercream smoothing the slope down to the board and neatening it up. To make the leather take some white fondant and cut it into cubes and some dark chocolate. Warm the fondant in the microwave until it's soft like this. Then melt the chocolate in the microwave and then put both of those into a mixing bowl and using your dough hook mix them together and you'll need to add about one tablespoon of water as it mixes. And you can do this process by hand but as you can see it's going to be quite messy so it is easier to do it in the mixer. Now because the chocolate in this will set you have to work with this quite quickly while it is still warm. So if you're new to cake decorating I suggest you just use brown fondant but this tastes much better. You can't really use modelling chocolate because that doesn't dry out so it's not going to hold the shape of the rim of the hat. Roll out your chocolate fondant on a silicon mat 
and it needs to be quite a bit bigger than the rim template because the fondant has to go up and over the middle part of the hat of course it's not just flat. Carefully lift it up and place it over the cake smoothing it down. I like the look of this chocolate fondant that we've made because it looks a bit rough like old leather. If you want perfectly smooth fondant that's easier to work with then definitely just use brown food colouring in your fondant but I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. It was just an experiment and I think it's worked quite well. Place the rim template over the top and cut all the way around the edge of the template and then remove the excess fondant. Now if you look at the guide the hat curls up on the side and it has a chunk missing on one side as well. Cut out a little triangle for our missing bit and then loosen the underneath of the rim on the sides. Slide some baking paper underneath and then bend it up at the side and use something like paper towel to support it into place. Then using the palms of your hands indent the sides of the hat in the centre just below the peak and then shape it a bit more around where the rim joins the hat so it's clear where that cord will sit. Through the hole where the sheriff badge used to be, roll a little ball of black and squash it flat using your finger and then use a straw to cut the middle out of it. Brush it with silver luster dust using a paintbrush and then add it into place on the cake and just use the paintbrush to gently push it off the straw. Now take a cake pop stick and push it into the centre to make a hole. For the cord I'm using a fondant extruder. You can roll a long snake by hand but you can get these fondant extruders pretty cheaply nowadays and they save you a lot of time. Add one layer of cord around the hat, just join it at the back and then add another layer on top of that crisscrossing the leftover bit across at the front and leaving some excess hanging down. Now make an oval of black, cut it to flatten it on one side and then push it over the join in the centre. Roll a little ball of black, flatten it so it looks a bit like a bead and then indent it all the way around with a knife. Lift the cord off the hat using some baking paper and add the bead to the end. Repeat that process so you have two beads on each cord. Take some gold luster dust, mix it with lemon juice or with alcohol and paint it over the black. Now the reason we didn't just dust it on like we did with the silver is because we would have ended up with gold on the leather part while we were putting the cord around the hat. To cover the cake board, take some plain biscuits and process them to make sand. After a few hours, the chocolate fondant will be completely cold and it will be firm so you can remove the supports. If you were using normal fondant for this, you'd need to wait overnight. Spread the leftover frosting on the board and then cover the whole thing in biscuit crumbs. To make the sheriff's badge, find a toy one, put blue tack on the back and push it down firmly onto something flat. Put a cookie cutter around it and then fill that with reusable food grade moulding gel. This stuff is awesome. You can just remelt it and reuse it and remelt it and make all sorts of moulds with it. Once it's set, you have your mould. Pour the chocolate on top and tap it down to get rid of any air bubbles in the chocolate and then scrape it across the top so that you can see the edges of the badge. This is so thin on the edges, I think it's going to break as we take it out, but we'll just fix that up later. If you can find a chunkier toy badge, then get one of those instead. Once the chocolate is set, dip it out, and yes, as I suspected, it's breaking on all the edges as we get it out. Just line up all those broken pieces and use a little bit of melted chocolate and add them back on. Brush the whole badge with gold luster dust and I know this is not exactly the same as Rick's badge but given that replicas were selling for $90 I didn't want to buy one just to make a mould out of it. Scoop up a little mound of sand and place the badge over the top. Cut the cake to reveal a beautiful rich moist chocolate cake. Subscribe to How To Cook That for more cakes, chocolates and desserts. Put all of your requests in the comments below. This cake was requested by Jaden. I don't even know. He requested it a whole heap of times. Ricky Blitz, Seymour Pancake, Robin, Grace, Christina, Bethany, Vanessa, Shelley, Angel, Carmen, Daniela, Sun and the Sun, Kit Thompson, Jasmine, Sarah, Emma, Anna, Luke, Sophia and so many other wonderful subscribers. If you asked for it, make sure you hit the like and the share buttons. Make it a great week and I'll see you on Friday.